Welcome to this video on pushover analysis using SAP 2000 software. In this video I am assuming that you have enough knowledge about the SAP 2000 software and the design of models buildings you know. For our purpose we have taken a 4 story RCC building we have designed it and then we have applied the nonlinear hinges in different members then carried out the pushover analysis. So, aim of this video is to show the different pushover cases and how to implement the cases through SAP 2000 software. For mode proportional load you need to know along which direction the load takes place for example whether the first mode is along the short direction or long direction. So, for that purpose you carry out the model analysis. I assume that uh, you know the SAP 2000 software usage, so we will be only highlighting those points which are relevant in our push by analysis. So, we run the model analysis now and that gives us the mode shapes. So, if you go to the deformed shape here and take under model and give one here, so this gives shows you the first mode. So, see the first mode has come here and the first mode has taken place along the positive direction of the y axis. You see the y axis here and the x axis along this direction. So, it is bent like this. You can see also in the animation so that it is clear along which direction it is moving. So, it is moving along the first direction. Now, let us take second mode. You can increase the mode here. So, now it is become second mode, the time periods and frequencies also available and you make you can say make animation start animation also, you see it is moving along the direction, short direction. Mode is along the long direction of the plane of the building and along the positive direction of y axis. Second mode is along the short direction of the building, but whether it is in the positive or negative direction, you can see it in the plan. So, now I have clicked the plan window and it is in the second mode and if we apply here the mode shape then it will show us the band shape here. You see it is moving on the negative direction of the x axis. So, these things we have to keep in mind. So, we have learned that first mode is along the positive direction of the long direction of the plan and this short directional mode, second mode is short directional and it is along the negative direction of the x axis. So, this information will be required when you set the parameters for pushover analysis. Now, you can go to define and define the different load patterns we already defined. These are the dead load, live load, earthquake load and two loads we have added here, uniform load along x direction and uniform load along y directions. These are quake loads. This will be applied for carrying out the uniform load distribution for pushover analysis. You can go to define and in the load cases we have taken one case push gravity along the x direction. You can see here what are the things available in that. It is a non-linear case, it has included p delta effect, it has considered the vertical load. The building has been already loaded with the gravity loads. So, dead load live load has been applied and this is the load case and it starts from the zero initial condition. Here are three options that you can see in the first option modify show if you give, it gives you the direction. So, U1 indicates direction along the x axis and U2 indicates direction along the y axis. U1 and you can select the U1 will be along the x axis and at which joint we want. So, it is the roof displacement. So, we have taken a joint here which is at the top of the roof and it is at the center of the plan. So, that node number is 90 
and u direction this is all right then second option you can see here whether the final state or multiple states initially when you are applying gravity load it is only final state and this here are other options available number maximum number of steps etc per stage so those we are not changing they let the default work similarly you have to apply the gravity load and give a directional effect to that and then naming it as post gravity y similar things available here this gravity load is acting downward but for the purpose of push over analysis there is a directional effect and you have to give this initial stages push gravity x and push gravity y for the two directions here also it is dead load live load and other options are also final state only and the default cases we are taking in this case now final push over curve will be along the x axis and along the y axis so if we take push x which we have already defined what is what things are there inside you can see it is a non linear case because it push over analysis is a non linear static analysis and we have considered p delta effect and now it is not zero initial condition but continue from the previous state what are the previous state along the x axis it was push gravity x so that is included here and remaining things are like this then mode we have seen along the short direction mode 2 was working okay mode 2 was working and mode 2 direction was on the negative direction of the x axis so to make the push over curve on the right hand side normal curve you give here minus 1 a scale factor so give the scale factor here minus 1 you can modify it and rest of the things use conjugate displacement and it is displacement control there are two cases force control and displacement control we have taken this one and direction along the x-axis short direction is u1 along the x-axis and to maximum displacement it has come by default depending on the height of the building our case is a four story building and by default it has come as 0 0.528 meter this is the maximum displacement to which building will be subjected to in the pushover analysis if it does not fail prior to this so this is first mode and this is the push x analysis let us see what is push y analysis in the push y analysis again it is non-linear case p delta effect is considered and it continues from the previous case push gravity y along the y direction along the y direction it is it was mode one we have seen in the beginning and the scale factor is one because it is acting on the positive direction of the y-axis these things if you want you can change so it is displacement control and conjugate displacements are considered degrees of freedom along the y-axis u2 and the um, things to be uh, the displacement to be captured at the node 90 at the top of the building and other things it is multiple states minimum number of safe steps i have given something maximum number i have given something that's for the purpose of demonstration and we are saving positive displacement only otherwise car will become zigzag and this default case we are not changing so these are the standard two cases push over along x axis and push over along y axis now these are mode proportional loads applied first mode along the particular direction now there is another case uniform load where all the masses are involved so this also we have defined here it is starting from zero initial condition or it starts at the end of this. so we take end of nonlinear case push gravity x along the x direction and load pattern is there a load pattern is the acceleration or load pattern so we have taken it is a load pattern what is the name of the load unix that name we have given scale vector is one so this load once you have defined ignore the last edit why well, it is showing so because it is under lock condition that's why it is showing so the unix 
loads are like this I have say, taken this point here and then go to assign then I have gone to join loads and forces it is not working here because it is under lock condition if we unlock this then it will show I have selected this point and so <coughs> go to assign go to join loads go to forces and select your uniax along the x direction so if it is along the x direction we will put unit load here small load and along the y direction it is zero and we can apply it so here see one unit load has been applied along the x direction short direction of the building at that flow level where we are now which level this cyan color is showing that we are in the top floor so it has come at this point grid point the number of the uh, node here you can get by right number is 90 node number at the top of the roof at the central point so this way we have applied uniax load along x direction and uni y load along the y direction in this joint at different floor levels the corresponding uh, node in the other floor level there are four floors available so everywhere we apply the uniform load now what is how to get the magnitude of such loads for that purpose i am showing you just a rough calculation floor and second floor third floor and fourth floor at the roof level so here let us increase the size Suppose in the first floor level you have mass, you have to calculate this mass by considering the slab load and then uh, half of the column height load, then beam load and the wall load and so on. So you have to consider the gravity load, so both dead load and uh, appropriate proportion of live load for seismic weight. Suppose this was 100 for the sake of simplicity we are taking it like this. Suppose this is 110 in the roof level load is a little less so we have taken less say so yeah, this is 110 and in the ground floor level first floor there will be slightly more load say so it is 120 so these are the four masses at different floor levels in my building either mass or weight anyone you can take now you divide all this by say any of the top mass or either the bottom mass suppose I divide it by top mass so I divide it by 100 and it becomes equal to 1 then I divide this by 100 again same balloon then it becomes 1.1 this also becomes 1.1 and this when you divide by 100 it becomes 1.2 so we shall be applying as uniform load as we have discussed in x in y of these magnitudes at the roof level 1.0 then 1.1 1.1 and the first floor level 1.2 these are in kilonewton so very small load applied as lateral load in the beginning and this will be incremented by the software stepwise so I think this clarifies how we set the loads. I have considered the masses and uh, these were coming almost like this for the present case of the building. After running the analysis, we want to display the pushover curves. So go to display, then static pushover curves. And you can see here the push x is this, then push y, then uniform load along x direction uniform load along y direction so <coughs> these curves can be transported to excel sheet and then plotted so how do we do it let us go to file command and then display tables so the table has come this table can be transferred to excel file so from file export to excel 
So some Excel sheet has come here. This is the book one name. So you can open it and see it. So what is there in this Excel sheet? It is case we have taken is under uniform load along y direction or long direction. So the steps are given and displacement at the roof and the base shear are given in the two columns. So for plotting the curve you simply take these two columns and you plot. So the plotting is possible from the Excel sheet and if you capture all the Excel sheets for all the push over analysis one by one and put it under a single Excel file then you can plot all the curves in a single plot. Now more things to see here are the expression of the damages. A to B means it is elastic no damage, B to IO means some damage within the IO limit. IO to LS means the damage is ranging from IO to LS and LS to CP and beyond that other points are available. So if you go downward this B to IO cases are there, A to B all the members these are the number of members in that state. So B to IO case you can see all the members are going now here at this stage it has gone from IO to LS this stage. So up to here it is IO. So this line is the end of the IO. So you can give a color some color here. So this is my IO end of IO. Okay, so when you plot, this is the point where IO will be shown in the graph. What is the point? The displacement is this and base shear is this. Now if you go downward in the in the table, then you will experience other damages of higher order. For example, this come here C to D. So here it has already crossed the CP level of damage. So where CP has occurred, we are not very sure because the numbers members are not showing here LS to CP, but it has gone beyond that. So around somewhere there will be CP point. Okay, maybe here CP point. And what is LS point? LS to CP is that line is not coming. So because we have taken limited number of points in the analysis, the num lim limited number of steps in the output, that's why everything is not coming. Also, it may be so that the design was not very proper and the analysis could not be carried out fully because of the extraordinary damages, unstable conditions. So at least we have understood where IO has come and similarly other points can be located where it has gone to LS to CP anywhere, then just immediately step before that will give you the LS point. And when it goes from CP to C, wherever it goes, just immediately before that step will be your CP limit. So this way we can plot the IO, LS and CP in the curves. So in this video we have tried to show how to carry out the pushover analysis using the SEP 2000 software and what are the standard cases the rational load the uniform load these are the two cases out of the case A and case B discussed in earlier videos for more proportional load you must ascertain first mode is along the short direction or long direction or even it can be torsional if it is torsional that building should be discarded and redesigned First to most must be translational mode along the short and long direction. In certain cases it may come along the short direction, in certain buildings it may come along the long direction. And in some cases the starting displacement of the modal displacement may be in the negative direction of the axis. In that case in the scale factor you have to give minus 1 so that the curve comes on the first quadrant. Thank you very much. There must be certain queries here because the all these steps in the SEP 2000 I have not discussed. So if you have any query you have, you can put in your comment box and we will take care of that. Thank you.